you know, I don't want to say too much about Michael Cohen, but uh, he did say that he wasn't necessarily a fan of Mr. Trump, but he did think that he was going to be reelected. So uh, that's the situation. This new segment is called Prison Stories with El Situacion, okay? I spent eight months in Federal Correctional Facility in upstate New York. And the name of this story is called Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. And the reason we start off with food because in prison, food is the most important commodity. You really don't get good food in there. People will try to smuggle food in. People will try to smuggle food uh, out of the kitchen. Um, and pretty much uh, there's always people scheming in there. And technically I wasn't necessarily scheming myself, but I definitely was trying to get myself uh, some good chicken or some extra chicken because the best day in the BOP, and that is the prison system, was Thursdays. Thursdays was chicken day, okay? You got a nice chicken on the bone with a little macaroni and cheese and pretty much either some salad or some green beans. Everyone loved Thursdays. Everyone loved chicken day. There was always people trying to swap, you know, their chicken for, you know, this or that, you name it. People are always scheming in there. And in walks Michael Cohen. And I never really met him before, uh, but that is the president's <laughs> that is President Trump's uh, attorney right there. And I thought to myself, that right there could be an opportunity for me um, because, you know, being your first day in federal prison, um, nobody really knows you that much. Uh, there are two lines in prison, two lunch lines or two food lines. One was the kosher line and one was the main line. And you can only go to one, okay? One source and that is it, okay? Um, so I thought to myself, listen, I heard Michael Cohen does not eat chicken. So I went up to him and I said, Michael, I said, uh, Mr. Cohen, <laughs> I said, can you smuggle chicken for me? He said, I, I could definitely do that for you, Mike. He said, I actually had a pet chicken when I was a child and I don't eat chicken. And I thought to myself, that's a good situation for me because if you don't eat chicken, I love chicken and I'm trying to lose all these LBs and get back you know, my situation, and I'm working out three times a day, I need all the protein that I can get. Thursday comes around, and I'm very excited, because Michael already promised me some chicken. And this, pretty much this extra chicken was going in a Tupperware in my locker, and it was gonna be saved for pretty much after my workout. I was very excited that day, and uh, you know, little things mean the most in prison, you know, these little details. And on Thursday, you know, I'm on my, I'm on the lunch line and Michael, I look around, you know, you know, Michael Cohen, he's nowhere to be found. I'm like, no, he's not going to show up. He promised me on chicken day that I can get his chicken. I was very excited for this. And you got to keep your word in prison or else pretty much you're probably going to have a situation with somebody. So I thought to myself, he's, he's definitely going to show up and, uh, he didn't. I was like, damn, all right, well, okay. I ended up seeing him later on in the evening. And I said, Mike, man, bro, what happened, man? Where's my chicken? He's like, man, he's like, they're on to me, man. I was like, what do you mean they're on to you, bro? This is your first day in prison. He's like, yo, man, they're on to us, man. They know we're trying to smuggle chicken. We're both high profile inmates and they're looking out for us, man. And the one thing you don't want to do in prison is get in trouble. Because if you get in trouble in a federal camp, they will throw you in sort of the worst prison, which is like the medium prison, where actually it isn't very nice in there. So he told this to me, and I said, you know what, maybe I have to reevaluate my plan, okay? Because, uh, you know, obviously another high profile inmate smuggling chicken for another high profile inmate maybe wasn't a sound plan. I mean, I thought it was good. The guy had a pet named, that was a chicken. I never heard of someone that had a 
pet as a chicken, but it, I thought it worked out for me because I was in prison and I needed to eat chicken and figured he'd be able to get me an extra piece. And he promised that extra piece to me. But on the day of chicken day, Michael Cohen, he was chicken. So I had to reevaluate my plan. Um, there's always people scheming in there. I ended up speaking to some of the uh, workers in the kitchen and uh, they happened to be a fan of uh, Jersey Shore <laughs> and they ended up uh, smuggling some chicken out for me. So shout out to Tony Meatballs and Andy Cucumbers for pretty much smuggling me out the chicken when Michael Cohen couldn't. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I don't want to say too much about Michael Cohen, but uh, he did say that he wasn't necessarily a fan of Mr. Trump, but he did think that he was going to be reelected. So uh, that's the situation. <laughs> All right, guys, see you next time for Prison Stories with El Situacion. Get ready. We got a situation. Share, like, and subscribe.